Okay. <laughs> Mrs. Brilliant idea. I don't know, but I'll take the I'll take the blame for it. Well, Rose Haven homesteading. So if you look down the slope, we go up. It, it, it's kind of steep. It's too steep, kind of for the duck. They can get up and down it, but they slide and whatnot. So we're gonna. So can we? It out. So all I did, just get a bit of plywood, rip a slope. Um, Whatever slope side, you want, yeah. And I'm not even gonna bother staking this. I'm just gonna put it in there. Put a cinder block against there. Put that one up, put a cinder block against there. And then, but I am gonna put this on so that we can have a, a thickness of the end so that it doesn't crack out so easily. Um, and this will probably be, I don't know, one, maybe one and a half, maybe, I don't know, two bags, I think it's gonna be too much. So, but we're gonna screen it up, wet it down, see if it washes out. I have a question for you. Yes. What do you think about just digging it out just a little bit where the ed end yeah, is so it can go in down on it. Yeah, down in the ground mm -hmm. a bit more? Do you think that's a good idea? It's, it's always a good idea to have a thicker edge. Okay, well, so let's try doing that just because... Uh, okay, cool. Thank you. That's what we'll do. All right. We'll be back in a Are you making sure that that that's edge is square? Because yes. what do you mean? No, you're just gonna. Just gonna follow the edge. Oh, red one. What? No, I'm talking about the front edge there. Is that a straight edge, or is that a square edge, or is just you're just putting it in? We're putting it into whatever the slope you take. So it will be side. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> the other side just popped out. <laughs> Let's some longer screws. <laughs> it's going to be one of those days. Honestly, glass is full now. Maybe you should put the center block up there so I can hold it up. Yeah, maybe. Okay. You want to just close that door, babe? We don't really need to open, yeah? Watch out, you're, you need your screw gun. Do you still need your screw gun or no? Easy peasy. Now, we have a little gap down there and down here. So the, we're just going to put the gap up there. Dirt. Let's see, or, this is what. Oh, no, I don't care about that. That's not going to matter? No, it's not going to matter. Okay. Uh, we're just going to put some dirt on either side just to stop the concrete from whoosh, pouring out. Dig our little extra footingy thing and then throw bags in there.
Now, do you want a, a footing all the way around the no. edge or just right here just in the, on the front, front lip? Just to give it a key. Okay, so just the front lip then? Yeah. Okay. Nice little tip for you guys, if you're experiencing jiggers and you have some diet to make earth, just put a little bit on your legs. That's why we look suddenly drier. <laughs> Because it like, keeps shooting forward. <laughs> I make more of a mess than trying to clean a mess. You do that so well. Look at that. Wow. I'm very impressed when you do that. I don't know why it's like, oh, so impressive. Look at that. Oh, that's it. That's good. Goose, goose, taking a bath. Handsome boy. All right, updates of the flock coming soon. Now it is do 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 dun 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 dun. Time for Mr. Rose's ramp dry pour. Concrete extravaganza. Da, 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 da. Okay, so just because I know people are gonna comment because everybody's got something to say. If this was an actual ramp for something other than a duck coop. You would obviously want to make sure you're level. You know what? That's pretty dang close. Is it? Yeah. Wow, look at Considering, that. Considering. But you obviously want to make sure you're level the whole way down. Uh, um, is there a pitch that you got to be concerned with and all no, that stuff? I mean, not unless it's ADA, which I think is. What is ADA for us people that don't speak ADA if you're terminology? That jargon. Okay. I can't remember what I. Well, it's, it's California. One foot in six, no, it's, it's, Is that all like, universal? Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, well, you know, one California. One in sixteen or something like that. One in twelve. I can't remember. Hi, Harmony. For those of you, if you're planning to do it, you can look it up. But uh, anyway, so just to let you know, this is a duck coop ramp, so we're not tremendously concerned about level, but it is pretty good. So close is good in this case. So now we're just going to pour the concrete in and... Uh, and if, just to interject Mr. Rose, because I know I have to just be just interjecting and be rude sometimes, but uh, if you want it to be more pristine and just, you know, super, super, you want it to be sleek and all that, that is your decision and your choice. As long as in the end it supports the weight that you want it, it needs to be supported, right? And that as long as it's strong enough, it's not going to fall apart as soon as you step on it. And Ooh, it serves a purpose. A good duck to eat. That would be like an 80-pound duck. <laughs> we ha I think Damn. we have one of those. And, it, oh, there he is. And if you, uh, you know, it, it, if, you, if you need all those other, th then that's your choice. It's your property. It's your deal. It's your project. And you can always ask questions. And you can always ask questions. Because and we are we claiming to be experts of this? We're not experts, but we do have a lot of knowledge and experience. We've done this a few times. Not dry pour, but general concrete, you know. DIY uh, projects. Concrete engineering. On the fly. What rebar to use, it, blah, 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 so on and so forth. Um, because when you build houses, you tend to need to know that. So, uh, anyhow, if you're going to do also, you know, obviously I didn't stake it. It's not that big. The lateral pressures aren't that great. It doesn't need stakes. Uh, if it was longer and bigger, yeah, obviously you need to stake it and uh, put the kickers on and all that stuff. So yes, I'm aware of all that. Oh, this speaking of kickers, this is another thing that we need to talk about as far as our slab was concerned. What was that problem that we had? Because we're used to, we're just trying to get used to our new area that we live in. This is a whole different, this is a whole different beast for us as far as oh, this. Oh, where the, why the blowouts occur. Right. Could so, you explain that, please? You go. Put a, we had two by sixes up against there. Again, you've got to think about the lateral pressure, especially on like wet concrete wants to push out. But we were doing a dry pour. So I just put in supporting stakes 
because really there's no lateral pressure, it's dry. But the problem was when it's dry, the wood warped a little bit. Before that, before, because of the humidity. Before we got the pour in. And because it's dry, a little rock gets in. You try and fish that little rock out and then suddenly another bigger rock gets in mm -hmm. and you end up with lots of rocks in there <laughs> and a big gap. And, then, and that had nothing uh, to do with the... washes out. It had nothing to do with the pressure of the sprinkler I was using, did it? No, nothing to do with that at all. It was just that it created a void and the void just grew just like a sinkhole will, something like that. So if I was to do this again, but stakes and kickers keep it tight on the blocks especially so in humid move. weather especially yeah. especially in humid weather where your forms tend to warp before you've even set them or full sun right because that yeah, will tend yeah, to make I that mean, warp too that, it, it makes a, a huge difference the humidity which we had both the heat around here will make your wood go crazy in a hurry in a hurt in a heartbeat like it doesn't play and now the other thing too that i was uh we wanted anyway, to while the missus is explaining that i'm gonna open the bag oh open the bag babe now the other thing that we were talking as far as the the fitting was concerned I, it was a question that somebody brought up hmm. let's see if i can remember that question <laughs> well we had so many questions and we had people okay this is one thing I, we'd like to both address People were just coming on and blasting our uh, our comments about how wrong we were doing it, and including this right here, this type of pour. Someone got on there just complaining about, oh look at you, the powder, blah blah blah. Uh, I get that, but I've also we also seen other examples of it getting poured exactly the same way. And I don't think anybody referenced to them at all. Uh, but at the moment, there is so much moisture in the air. And I'm trying to stay out of the... And stay, uh, yeah, and stay out of the direction Ooh. of the wind that will really help too. In that case, if you have to be worried about it. But um, that's just one bag. And then the other thing too is that, you know, we are just doing... We're doing this because we want to be able to help other people like ourselves who are, want to be able to get the projects that they need to get done, done with whatever resources they have available. And if this is something that can work for you and make your get your projects done and make your life a bit easier for you to do it, even though we were told how we were doing it was a much harder work. And I think it is because of the fact that- Hard work makes you you're good. I just wish it was a little bit of hard work, uh, especially at our age. I mean, if we're scared, to do, if we're willing to do the hard work at our age, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I, I know everybody's watching Mr. Rose do lug these 80 pound bags on his own. The missus would do it if I, I, no arms, so I, I to. No, and plus, because my shoulder's still not recovered yet, so. And your knees are falling off, your no, back's been No, okay, I'm still recovering from your injuries. ripped in two. No, it's not. Okay, but I'm still recovering from old injuries, so. I'm just giving, I have an opportunity to let my body heal, and so I'm taking the opportunity, and he's being kind enough not to. Okay. Say I can lift Tools the I can lift the tractor. <laughs> you may want to have handy the wood or mag float, magnesium float. Why this magnesium? Is, that's because that's what it's made of. Uh, oh. This is the first float. You use it to knock the rocks down and bring the cream up, and uh, that's what that one's for. Nice. <laughs> Finished float, steel. Why is steel? Because that's what it's made of. Oh. Is used to give you that smooth, glassy surface that everybody always. Oh, your concrete should be smooth and glassy. But what are we going to do? We're going to use those because we want to but get as smooth finish? a finish as we can. But then we're going to put a brush finish on it, which you want to do once you've got the cream up and you're basically going for a smooth coat, and then you destroy it by running a broom across it. Well, I well, I wanted to actually have a little bit of a rougher surface, just so when we it gets thing. wet here, it, we don't slip and fall. That's the other thing. The edger. The edger. The finish edge. It, uh, if you have, if you leave your edges sharp, they have a tendency to break and be sharp. And this is just just rounds off the corners, so um, just breaks that edge. So makes it smoother. Makes it smoother. And safer in case when you fall on it with the tip of your with the with your skull, it won't like just totally crack it right open, right? right it'll smash a big dent in it. Instead. Oh, that's good. Okay, so, uh, cool. That's awesome. so, anyway. Let's see what we got. Now, you could use a screed board, but I didn't cut one because it's hot. 
It's Sunday. It's so. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Do do? Oh, and Mr. Rose was able to close in that gap. Let me show you guys real quick. This gap right up here. He was able to put, oh, big, 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 big. Gap, gap, we gotta tap the, uh, move the block, the cinder block, it was tied up. Okay. No, baby, just please. Okay. See, this it's is okay. when I get picky, that's why. <laughs> it's okay. okay. It's all right. Oh, you can fill that in, though. That's why you fill it in. Yeah. Look at that! So I'm just trying to get an idea of where I'm at. So we've never done anything like he. Have you ever done anything like this, babe? You know when we did that. <laughs> I mean, a ramp. You big. You're just funny. Talk about being a smart. Oh! Right, you need a little more. Yeah. So you're gonna just go ahead and just get it up. You might as well just go ahead and tuck it up there, babe. No, no, no. Ooh. Okay. So you were right. You're calling it about a bag and a bit. Right. Bag and a bit. That's about a bag and a half. And this is an 80 pound bag? Yeah, these are 80 pounds. Those are heavy. I've lifted those. 50 pounds all day long. 60. 80 pounds? 60. Oh, 60. Yeah, 60 pounds. 80 pounds are a different story when you do more than 10. But you did help, babe. Yeah, a pallet of 80 pounds is not much fun. Nope, and you did it we without did. my help. No, I couldn't help you lift those. I wanted to, but I couldn't. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, how sweet when you say stuff like that. Be careful. There's a little dip right there. Somebody's going to go, oh my God, I wish I was doing that. And look, there's a dip. You should go here because, you know. And by the way, I did find the very first, very, very first dry pour video. And I will share that with y'all here. A little bit more. Which, that particular pour was kind of like what I did for my test run, but wouldn't be able to suit the project that we're doing right now. And especially our coop pour. All the videos that we looked at or information that we checked out, none of them had been, didn't, they were all mainly for chicken coops. They weren't, any, I didn't see anything for a duck coop. Is it any different from this? Huh? Well, yeah, because... We have to worry. Chickens don't sit there and burrow things out. They're not like the ducks who are totally boggers when they're uh, when they're foraging. Aha! Very nice. Make sure you check that. Yes, that's very important. You, you want to open that now than it is when it's all dry. Ooh! Stay right up there. That corner up there. There you go. Are you gonna kind of just kind of do a, low, a slight flat slope and then down? So let me take that first step. You're not like this going, just not going straight down to. I mean, I know you're, I know you're a black diamond slope skier, but you know what I mean. Oh, back in the day. Oh, I know. So sexy. You don't like to say that on YouTube, James. Uh, what sexy? No, I can say that wrong. to you all day long. I'll say oh, it to you right now, all day. That's sexy. I can say it to you. Okay, so that is our basic step. Now we're going to put some... Baby, go just do we're that gonna little... We're going to put some water on it so that we can move it to where we want it. Oh, I'll shut up. Door Let's open. see. Wait, wait, wait. Open it up and see what it is. Okay, so what does that mean when it's like that, bed? Okay. That's for, that's for people like me. I don't know. So that's why I'm asking these questions. Just he usually does stuff like this. Easy. Yeah. Oh, I better get these out of the way. Handy dandy tools. All right, the missus, would you care to do misting? Yes, I'm misting this one. And why am I misting it instead of sprinkling it? Because it's at a really definite slope and I don't do not want it all to pour out. So you want to take over? Oh, you're okay. All right, you guys, so we have the handy dandy garden hose that has the different settings on it. And we do have it set on mist for this particular, uh, hold on, okay, for this particular dry pour. And 
The reason why we didn't do this mist setting on the first dry pour that we shared with you guys is because of the fact that we were worried about rain coming in and not ever doing this before and wanted and to get the concrete set as much as quick as possible and the pressure wasn't as it wasn't like full blast it looked like it was full blast but i was standing like what up on a hill. you had to stand away to do it and right. reach the other side so if we and the problem also was that the mister that we had wasn't didn't have enough coverage for this size of a slab you're probably going why didn't you have this one well we didn't have this one at the time that's why and still we wouldn't have had, we wouldn't have had enough time to get it done up there in the corner base to get it done okay so uh, before the rain kick came in that well the forecasted rain so what we're doing is we're trying to get a good wet surface so it will hold and kind of bond start bonding to itself and won't dust out now there are different uh, but at this rate we might be here for three days doing this there are different applications or rates or how long you should do it check our comments below people made all kinds of suggestions that was another suggestion i wanted to bring up that i thought might have been a good idea to try or would try next time we do a big or a screen what is it called screening or when you float out the when you're floating out the the dry pour babe like initially in the forms and we use a two by four what was the that screening. called okay so when we initially did the first screening with the dry pour we we're trying to get it all leveled out before we started misting it uh one of the comments below by one of our viewers mentioned or suggested that maybe we could use the flatter the wider side and what did you say mr rose as far as that? i thought it was a good idea to try and i'm still gonna probably try it but mr rose said what can't remember it's too long ago you said that there's a you you're not if you're not using the crown side or something like that of the it'll oh oh you talk about turning the two by four flat right yeah well the problem with that is is over the span it can bow in the middle because it doesn't have strength so much strength being flat and that'll give you a middle dip in your slab uh you want to make sure your screed board is crowned up so that it bends down to each side and is up in the middle if it isn't straight that way um the concrete will settle a bit and you should still not end up with a puddle if it happens to get wet okay now you guys probably are noticing these little drops here it's because my freaking mister of course the boss the the mister head here is has a leak i mean it's like it's dripping. it's dripping you also may notice how even though she wets it it immediately starts to get dry again so it needs a lot more, more water. water yeah i mean i don't know if you've ever mixed wet concrete it, it takes actually takes quite a bit of water well, when you're mixing was, it that was part of the so. that was part of the arguments that were going on it's like well if you put that much water in it right away you're doing it wrong this way it's like well what's the difference when you're doing a wet pour when you're doing a wet pour you have to put oh shoot you have to put in a lot of water. Let's open this door, babe. You have to put in a lot of water to get that wet pour going. So what's the difference between a wet pour and a dry pour as far as the amount of water that you're putting in right away, right? Is that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's, I got a little confused with that comment too. So, uh, you know, I don't, I because I'm not a concrete expert and we never had done a dry pour before, we were just doing what we could. We were just and, goofing around, getting it done. And yeah, just went it. with the best plan that we thought would work for our, our situation. And it did. And it, More to the point. And there it is. There's, it's concrete. It's not that tricky, people. Yeah, and there's a, well, we just had a, a real recent comment. What was the one? About that... That YouTube, the YouTube dry pour thing is a fad. Well, it's a new thing people and are trying. I mean, you know, call it a fad, ultimate, call it what you want. It's the ultimate, and I love the way he spelled the word. I looked it up, so I thought it was a new word. Yeah, so apparently the guy couldn't spell stupidity, and uh, so therefore that was pretty stupid in itself. But anyway, back I, to this and not to that, because I don't really I didn't care about say that. You said uh, you know, everybody, everybody is entitled I, to their own opinion. Yeah, uh, no, Everybody's I, an yes. expert on YouTube. We're not claiming to be at all. No. We're just trying to do shit that works. So and share, uh, that's we share, that. the, we share the, the, positive, the good, the bad, and the ugly. That's right. Because if you want, so, at least you can learn something hey, from You're going to have mistakes. to hold your phone, my love. Why? 
because I have to start moving stuff around. Oh. Oh, oh, is this is way more water. Oh, so oh you can go ahead and start now. Oh, I didn't know that. Because well, really. last, well, last time we did it, we had to, we let it yeah. set for a few hours. Remember? I'm, I'm just trying to smooth it out. So I need more water. Okay, well then here, change. This thing is not. I'm uh, I'm holding this. Let's go. Getting can you put it on. down to gentle. Uh, oh yeah, I can. All right, so this faucet head has a, an adjustment on it. So let me make sure it's going to be on gentle. And which I did with the other sprinkler head too, by the way. So it looked a so lot. That is shower. If you want to test it over there. Yeah. Nope. Too much. Nope. Nope. Okay, that's the gentlest I can get it. Mm -hmm. yeah, let's try that. Okay. We're just trying stuff, people. We'll let you know how it is. Here, I'll try to just squeeze it real soft. Here, let's go squeeze it really soft. Let's get some water in. Oh, I'm trying to squeeze it really it's soft. It's fine, baby. It's not going to go anywhere. Okay. Oh, okay. So there you go, having misted it and kind of got the top somewhat cohesive. And you saw how well, you saw how long it took before uh, we, he wanted to switch it over to the shower head. Okay, go ahead, baby. You want to scree it? No, I want more water, baby. Oh. Okay. There. Are you going to do it? Oh, he's going to go for it. Oh, baby, it's starting to, no, it's starting to run. It's starting to run. It's starting Good. to run. That's what I want. You want it to run? Yep. Why? Because that means it'll soak in. No, 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 no. It's running it's it out. It's not washing off. It's just It is off. washing off. Okay, babe. no, you're getting all the rocks. Oh, I like the rocks though. See, I would totally see. I yeah, want okay. that. <laughs> that I want. I like that look. Do you know how much that tile costs? And when you go into Lowe's. Okay, I'm not gonna do it like you did, but I like that look. See, I think that's pretty. That's pretty. Keep going, don't stop. My water. My water. Hey, really? Stop stopping. Well, I'm trying not to get you wet. You're getting me wet. Oh. But you know what? This is East Texas. It's a thousand degrees. I don't really care. Okay, you see how that's starting to pull the cream up? Yep. Rocks are starting to go down. More water, please, baby. I'm, you're right in the way of where I need to put more water. What? No, it, no it's uh, just the hose, you guys. No, we're not filling, no, we're not filling pools. We are not filling pools right now. That corner right there. This is what happened last time. He kept on telling me more water. <laughs> Too much water. So the difference is it um, takes a lot longer to get any water lady. Oh, sorry. It's a lot longer to get the kind of the concrete cream to come up and the rocks to go down because it's still all dry underneath. <laughs> It's starting to a little bit. And you're going to add a little bit more, right? This is it? That corner up there is going to fall out right there. I'll get that corner up there. Okay. Hey, I'm saying everything that somebody else is going to have to say to me later on, too. They just say what they want. <laughs> Babe. Oh, Christmas. New Year. Oh, that's New Year. Sorry, that's New Year. Mr. Rose named the boys. No, you named Christmas and I named the other one New Year. Because, you know, you have to have a New Year after Two Christmas. Two holidays that may require a roasted goose. <laughs> No, not you guys. You're fine. 
Unless there's no more chicken in the store. Then... What? What? It's not my fault. There's no more chicken in the store. Oh, they're all, they're all like, what? No, you did not just say that. <laughs> well, I, no, I was playing. I was playing. Not you guys. Sorry, babes. That wasn't nice. I know. That was no. The water was a lady joke. needs to get. Uh, it was a joke. What? Watering. I am watering. I'm trying not to water so much. You're the one that doesn't have to answer those dang questions I do. That's right. That's right. <laughs> oh, okay, now you're doing the Tony Veg now? Oh. Yeah, I gotta knock the rocks down on the corner. Water, please. Yeah, but you're going too deep, Dave. It's gonna start. Water. Water, water, water. See, that's what I thought. See how it starts to pull the cream up. All you smooth people, smooth slab people. Ooh, very, very smooth. Well, you know, somebody's going to say you're doing it too soon or you're doing it too late. Yes, okay. Just in case you're saying that. This is my slab. This is my slab. I'm going to do it like this if I want to. Yep. <laughs> now, can you get those lines out later on? Or are you going to do that? Like, I've, oh, babe, right there. Oops, that's because I didn't. Yeah. Okay, that was my bad. See, it got dry, so it started pulling. I just saw that where it's... And he was pulling it back, and I started cracking it back. There wasn't enough water. Ooh, that's very pretty. I actually like... I, You know what, babe? I think we... I like this look. I like how it's kind of framing it out. It makes it almost like you have, like, a little uh, throw rug on there. Like the throw rug look. I like that. I think we should keep it. Is it for you, buddy? Well... All right, I want to keep it so we don't have to do the brush thing. It's kind of like why brush it if you don't need to now. See, I think that looks pretty. And plus it goes with the rest of the motif. You know what I'm saying? The rest of the design, darling. Sweet tea. Anybody know, anybody know what show I'm talking about when I say darling, sweetie? Uh, yes. La Croix. La Croix, darling, right there. Yeah, that was one of the shows that saved me with my for my comedy that I was missing while I was there in that in England and uh wasn't quite used to their comedy shows there. Anybody know what show that is? I'm talking about put it in the comments below. And we did have a comment made by one of our viewers recently saying asking if AG meant, what does AG mean, babe? AG California means what? A royal grand. One day. You Coast. are correct. You are correct. You are correct. That is what right, it means. Well, you leave it like that. We'll leave it like that. I think you it looks it? really pretty. I like it. Maybe, except right there, it has a little hump, hump. Hump to dump. Hump to hump. I don't know if that's wrong. Can I, am I ever going to tell you saying that? I covered that. I covered the Humpty Hump. Just for a second. That was my Humpty Hump cover. Oh, hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. That's... Oh, it's oh snap. It's about to blow. There she blows. No, babe, I kind of like the little edge look, actually. I like the little separation. I like that. I know. There you go. I know everybody else is going to get mad about it, but I like it, so... You don't have to do this on your ramp or your dry pour ramp. You don't have to do this look at all. You can make it super loose to the edges. You can make it look just like those edges all day long all you want. But I like it. Plus, it also gives us a little extra grip because it gets wet here. Right, and I don't want to slip. Before the hose off, right? Are you, do, you, do you need me to add any more water or are we keeping it there? Is that good? That's can you just do, do that one? Can you just finish that, redo that edge over there? Because you kind of smoothed it out a little bit. Oh, so you still want your picture? 
Yes, I want the picture frame look. I want to look like there was like a have a throw rug. Uh, can you go turn that off and the concrete? Oh! Just move it. It's all, all over the food, too. Uh, it's gonna blow, can you? Oh, there she blows! Hold on. Hold, quick, quick, quick. Do that real quick, and then I'll... Voila! All right. So there you go. This is the corrected pitch. And you can see... That's going to be roughly the finished look. I'm not sure if that the sandy bits are going to still be on there. I don't know. But that's what you call the picture framing? Is that what you called it? Oh, you called it. Oh, okay. Picture framing it. And that's how we're going to finish it out. So if anybody is concerned that we just, you know, we're doing way too much hard work here. Well, at least we're not doing the brush after effects. Well, that's an extra step. It's a masterpiece. We could sell that. Some of these $5 million. Really? Yeah, then we could do another one. Cool. Right. <laughs> okay, so we'll show you guys when it's... Well, are, do you have to do anything else afterwards or just letting it dry? Let it dry. It's going to rain and it'll soak up moisture from the ground and leave it for a little bit. A day, two days, harden up. I think the only thing we're going to possibly do we is uh, we're going to cover it with... Uh, Plywood. Just a piece of plywood so the roof doesn't put dents in it. it dents in it and it just wash it all out. out just in case we don't have enough water in it because it is a dry pour so it's not completely soaked well, all the way through. It's not so dry pour today. It's not such a dry pour today. Okay, so that's what we're going to do and we'll show you that when it's all covered and then we'll show you when it's all done. Right on!